If you want to know what the best strength and conditioning exercise that you can use is, stop right now and watch this video. There isn't one. See, the exercises themselves aren't what's important. It's the intent and the intensity you put behind them. See, there is no magical exercise because if there was, everyone would just do it and then everyone would have incredible conditioning. But if you want to improve your gas tank, three things you need to start thinking about is number one, properly balancing your strength and conditioning work with your skills work. If your strength and conditioning sessions are far too intense, you're going to be too sore to do your skill work, and then you're going to be a really great athlete with no skill set. Number two is prioritizing recovery. If your body's always beat to shit because you're training for so many hours a day and never letting it heal, yeah, you're getting all your hours in, but your body's not going to be feeling good. You're going to start burning yourself out and getting injured, and in turn, putting a shell of who you could be into competition. And the third thing is load management. So one of my primary philosophies with my athletes is that after doing strength and conditioning, you should never be too sore to hit your skills training. So make sure that you're thinking about not just doing the most work, but what you're actually getting out of the work if you want to see the improvements you're looking for. And if you found that useful, make sure to save it and follow me for more value.